I'm at an all time. <laughs> What is going on guys? My name is of course Kaze. Now today I've got a brand new video for you guys that I think you're going to enjoy. So uh, I'm not going to even like talk, okay? I'm going to get straight into the video and this will be my first World War II video official game, not beta. So I'm pretty hyped about it. I did record this video before but it turned out terrible. So I'm trying to quality guys. But yeah, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so this video is going to help anybody that's stuck on a low level or anybody that just got the game and is on a low level. Anybody that's just trying to rank up, this video for, is for you, so I'm guessing everybody. Because who's not trying to rank up? Right now we got the race going on, people are prestiging, I'm not that high of a level right now just because I didn't use these tips yet. But once I do, I bet you guys I'll be ranking up. So I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to actually improve your level on Call of Duty World War II, how to get to a higher level. So let's run through these tips. Now the first thing I want to say to you guys, this is brand new to Call of Duty. They've never had this before. The HQ, the headquarters, is basically like your home base. And you can do a ton of things there. You got a firing range, theater mode, you can open supply drops, you can get contracts. Now that contracts thing I just said is very important. Now basically for contracts, you can get these sort of points every day if you log on. I think a hundred something of the points and you get them every day. And once you add up, you can get these contracts with those points points and what it does is for example i'll give you one okay so this one contract that i'm looking at right now costs 25 credits okay 25 armory credits that's what it's called and basically you have to get 100 kills in any game mode in under 40 minutes or 40 minutes and you basically receive 3000 xp now there's not just that there's a ton of them which you can cost more and get more xp and i think it's just a really smart idea now if you're not that much of a daily player and you don't think you'll be getting those armory credits that easily i've got a another solution for you now this is something that it could be really beneficial if you're a big fan on objective game modes now in my opinion objective game modes are actually a ton of fun domination kill confirmed they're just a ton of fun what you guys want to do you want to play some objective obje i can't say the word you want to play objective game modes and you want to try to you know play the objective as much as you can for domination capture the flags you know we'll each get each flag a b and c and for kill confirmed you want to get those tags it's just like that now that's very basic for call of duty of course but it really does help out when you're just trying to rank up. I know after this video, I'm going to be playing some, you know, kill confirmed, getting gameplay, and just trying to rank up because I want to unlock more weapons and all the good stuff in the game. Now, the third tip I have for you is if you got friends, party up with them. Don't be afraid to invite them to your HQ. Squad up so you can have a full party and win the games because winning games and capturing objectives are huge in World War II and in any Call of Duty in general. And you want to do that to rank up as as much as possible and you're gonna have fun playing with friends because like they're friends and you know you're gonna have fun so play with your friends squad up and play some call of duty because trust me you'll have a ton of fun going for some objectives with your friends you're not alone and you'll actually you know be able to win with your team because you'll know who you're talking to so play with friends also what's really cool about the contracts is that it's not only for xp you can also get supply drops out of it so one right here 225 armory credits that is a bit high but you you have to complete this in 10 minutes get 55 kills in the game mode war and you can get a rare supply drop so you can also unlock weapons like that that's besides the point of leveling up i just think it's really cool they did a really good job with this whole hq thing i think it's really cool another tip now this is playing out just like it's kind of simple use your favorite gun and use the gun that you are best with because you want to get the most kills as possible or you want to get the most kills to get to your objective so you can capture and win the game it's kind of you know pretty self-explanatory but i just think i needed to state it like i love this gun called the bar it's the my favorite gun i'm gonna make a best class setup on it because i absolutely love it and i want to share it with you guys and you know it's great the only thing that i have about it is that it runs out of ammo quick and whatnot but other than that it's perfecto and i love it muchos 
But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my tips. If you guys use any of it, let me know your favorite down below what you guys are going to be doing to play during your World War II time. So far, I'm having a ton of fun during the game, and I just love it so far. I've got a ton of new content coming out for you guys. And also, comment below if you guys want to be part of the notification squad shout-out. I didn't say in the beginning because I haven't uploaded in like a month, which I'm, I, I'm sorry, okay? But comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what level you guys are on. And I just hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Stay fresh as always, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. The niggas don't want to see me pull up, and the Billy niggas don't want to see my pockets full with them bitches, and I know they don't want to see me cop my first floating niggas hating on me, and niggas don't even know me, niggas don't want to see me pull up, and the Billy niggas don't want to see my pockets full with them bitches, and I know.